So the main objective of this video is to understand the origin of the name of the protagonist of the series, Nadia, the Secret of Blue Water. I'm talking uh, about Joan here. So uh, during my research surrounding the, uh, the show, uh, I found many different things. I was doing lots of research regarding the series when I was doing the fan edit uh, of the series into a trilogy of movies. So again, during the research portion and the preparation stages for this show, I was doing, you know, uh, more reading and more researching in order to understand everything about the characters, the point of view of the director and the whole team and so on. So as you can see, this is a photo of Nadia, and I'm going to correlate this photo to what made me discover the, uh, the true origins of the name of Jean. So we never saw Nadia in this outfit during the series. Okay, we, we, we only see this photo in some of the concept arts, and maybe some of the additional uh, art pieces and stuff like that. So it's not part of the show. So why was this art piece produced in first place? In this piece of art we can see that this is a concept for uh, the citizens of uh, Paris. And this is how they were wearing at that time period. I mean by the late 19th century. And this is another outfit of Nadia. She appeared with this custom in the first episode. And so, uh, what if we mix these two pictures? I mean. Nadia from her outfit in the first episode and Nadia from this art which looks like the concept art related to the citizens of Paris. If we mix these two pictures, we can see this. So this girl is wearing the same outfit of the citizens of Paris and also is the same color of uh, the custom of Nadia in the first episode. But this is not a concept art for Nadia. This was not drawn by any of the artists uh, related to the series itself. Even though it, it looks so familiar and it reminds us of Nadia, of course. So who really drew this? The one who drew this is called Jean Roc, yes. So this is a French painter from the same era. So he is the same person who painted this, okay? and. Given his name, which is Jean Roque, we can see that it's, it's really hard to be a coincidence. So my theory goes that the series creators were looking for inspiration in order to uh, develop the first couple of episodes. And they were thinking about the setting. They were thinking about France and Paris and what people were wearing at that time. So they checked several paintings and voila! And it's not just this one single painting. When you see the work of John Rock, you will find things like this. And this. And this. And these are some stills from the first episode, the starting minutes. You can see that the art style is so similar. So again, my assumption is that first they used the paintings of Jean Roque in order to inspire them to do the settings of uh, the story happening in France and so on. And the second thing is that they took his name and named Jean, the protagonist of Nadia, by his name. So we can see that Jean Roque, but where is the ratic part comes from? So I made more research about this and I found this. This is Jacques Henry Lartig. He is a photographer and a painter as well. And he was famous for photographing automobile races, planes, and female Parisian fashion models. So, what does it have to do with Jean? Our Jean? Okay. So, as you can see, <laughs> these are some of his photos. And if you have seen any episode with John, especially the first episode when, where he gets introduced, we have seen him doing this exactly before. And again, given the name, Jack Henry Lartig, and we know the common misconception about the pronunciation of names in, in French or in Japanese related to the L and R, we can see that Lartig can be easily pratique. 
So quickly, this is like a small theory. I'm not saying that it's 100% true, but I believe it's too hard to be a coincidence. I think that the name of Jean Roque Ratik has been inspired by these two persons, the painter and the photographer. Tell me what you think about it in the comments. And I believe if we have searched more, maybe we can find lots of other things related to the other characters of Nadia. If you haven't checked the fan edit of Nadia, which converts the series, which consists of 39 episodes of nearly 17 hours length, to a trilogy of movies of nearly 6 hours of, uh, of length, which deals with the more uh, proper pacing for the story, for the character development, dealing with the infamous, for the bad reasons, island arc, please check it. You will find the link in the description. Looking forward to your comments and see you.